this and I realized we were almost 11 minutes and I was like oh shit I need to start the stream <laughs> and I honestly just figured it'd be funnier this way hello hello everyone <laughs> uh I think you're getting music let me get some music there we go let me turn it down a little bit maybe um let me know if you want it louder or quieter I just got our usual uh lo-fi lo-fi girl channel uh supposedly no, it's pretty pretty consistently like royalty free. Whenever whenever a claim happens by accident, it usually gets released pretty quickly. So, generally safe. Oh, ooh, 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 we, ooh, we, Mozzie, handing out them subs. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. But yeah, we're doing we're doing an, we're doing an art stream today. Um, I wanted specifically today's stream to focus around like drawing cool outfits. Um, and I wanted to show you my process for kind of making up cool outfits. Because if you could look at any of the character designs I have on here, um, you might be able to tell that that's a that's a decent that's a decent like portion of of what I do <laughs> of what I do. Just like making making outfits that I think are cool and or wearable. Here was actually some practices, some practice ones I was doing, just to like try some stuff out. Um, I like I like the sec I like the second one quite a bit. I think the first one needs some work, but I could I I could see myself in a in a uh, uh, sexy lingerie look. Of course, the the the, cl the classic the classic. Let's say let's say the let's say the Lily the Lily uh one point eight sketches that I posted to the Discord stream, of course, uh, that eventually became what you see before you. But yeah, I like making outfits for things. Um, I like giving outfit advice on the Discord. I thought I, I thought this was kind of inevitable that one day I would just want to do a full sort of explanation on how I usually do this shit and how I break it down and everything. So, but actually, I was literally just looking at Pinterest and I was I got distracted. To be honest, um. One of the one of the funniest things, which I will I will literally stop the stream every time I see this. Um, well, that's that's what we're here for. We're gonna we're gonna hopefully get everyone better at it. And um, as as is with everything, uh, it all starts with reference. Um, so yeah, um, I think I think it's I think it's uh it's honest honestly if I get distracted looking through Pinterest, uh, don't even mind me, don't even mind me at all. Um, but uh, one, one thing I will say though is that if I find just straight up bad art advice at any point in time, I will in fact stop the stream full stop just to like comment on it because I've already seen a few that I'm like, what the fuck? No. Or, or just or just just a, just a few things that I'm like, I don't I don't necessarily agree with it. Or at the very least, even though, you know, I don't know. I think some people give advice about their own style as if it's like universal art advice. But yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely Uli Lolo's on a on a good start there. Uh A plus for that. A plus for that, though uh you do get a demerit for not raising your hand. Um <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's like first thing first thing is like what do you want the outfit to be like? Um what yeah, like what what's what's it for? What kind of character is it for? What's it serving? What's the culture behind it if there is a specific culture you're going for? Um, all that. Uh, one of my favorite books that I have, as far as like fantastical stuff goes, is like a thick old, thick old book of um, of his of historic fashion. Let me actually find it. Let me actually find it so I can give so I can tell you the name of it. I will post pictures of the pages that I think are cool in the Discord if you'd like me to. Over here somewhere. 
Okay. The book is called The Costume History by August Runs Rossinet. August Rossinet. Uh thick old book with some like pencil drawings of some Rococo ladies on the front. Um, and it has all sorts of countries in here. Uh, it's not just European, which is important. Um, um, it's incredibly, incredibly thick and it spans many centuries. Not just, uh, not just clothes either, but furniture as well. Various artistic styles. Um, it's a great resource to just have to be able to pull up whenever. And I, I when one of my best art book investments more so than even the ones with even though this one doesn't actually even have that good of art it's like just the information in there is really good um so i so i will if i can post a picture of the cover in the discord but uh actually maybe i can find a link of it if i can find a link of it let me find it um like an Amazon link or something, so you could just see. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, if you just look up the costume history, um, it's right there. Um, let me find it. You find it. Price of it ranges drastically of course but it's not too difficult to actually get a used version i just want i just just give me a second i need to recommend this book guys i need to i need to okay uh oh gosh there it is the amazon the giant ass amazon link not affiliated not an affiliate link but feel free to click it anyway um god damn why are amazon's link so long um Again, I'll post a picture of the cover in the Discord. But, uh... But yeah. Um... That, that's usually what I do if, if I'm going for something fantastical. Usually I just try and find something from history that I think is, like, cool. And I'll run with it from there. But, uh, honestly, I very much prefer... Um... More modern styles, more modern sensibilities. Um, occasionally I will draw from certain, from certain references here and there for some, for something on slight, slightly more fantastical, aside from just historical, which is, uh, which is honestly, oftentimes it's J fashion. Um, or like, or like any alternative fashion that gets like... It gets a bit more abstract, a bit more costumey. I, in fact, don't like chain bikinis and loincloths. I don't, I very much do not like those. Um, but I do like J fashion as an inspiration. Like maybe you have a witch character and you don't just want to put her in a typical like witch hat, everything. Maybe you want to put her in something like this. And maybe this could work because to a normal person, this is far out enough that to them it will read as magical and cool and different. Even if someone who's in the fashion might see it and just think, oh, hey, that's a really cute dress, you know. Um, yeah, I love me some urban fantasy, so I like it. I like it when things have a touch of modernity to them. Um, but yeah. I like I like looking through I like looking through J fashion because it's a lot of those badminton things. What? Excuse me? Come again? Yeah. Um. Or I'm pretty sure it was something like this that inspired Lily 1.0's outfit. Honestly, that kind of eventually became this. Um. Yeah. Sir, I don't think this is J fashion, but uh, this is cool still. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, is this, did we somehow, did we somehow make it back around to Nigerian fashion? Did they, did they send something? Yeah, this is, this is, this is Nigerian. <laughs> How did they find me? 
How did they find me? Auntie? <laughs> yeah, so drawing from other cultures is also is also cool. Um, Deadass, it was a project involving Nigerian clothes that got me into art school. So um, there you have it with that. Um, yeah. Ooh, just just cool thing I got to mention too is that um, uh, one one cool one cool thing one cool reason to to use Nigerian clothes as a reference. Here, I'm gonna sell my culture to you. Um, is that uh, there are very few established silhouettes that are like required nowadays. Um, older women will f will still abide by certain traditions. Like wearing a like they'll have something called a wrapper. Well, they will wear on top of their usual dress. They will wear another uh, another layer of fabric wrapped around as like a modesty thing, as well as uh, as well as re requiring a certain head covering. But um, like a lot of modern women just kind of wear whatever and instead just use the fabrics. Um, so it's less about getting just exactly the right silhouette as much as it is just about getting a cool fabric and showing it off <laughs> through whatever cut you have for it there are certain things that you'll notice like generally ankle length to floor length um oftentimes accentuating uh, oftentimes accentuating hips um big sleeves only big sleeves allowed yeah, actually, I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do. Let's see if. Let's see if I can do like a cool, a cool look. I'll just pin some stuff. I'll just pin some stuff. <laughs> we'll pin some stuff. We'll look at it. Let's see what we like here. I like her. I like the sleeves. I like the big sleeves. Um, I love this color. Let's see this is a lot of what it what like getting I mean we're just starting off with our basis here right we just want to get a good foundation fine oh I love the pleating here look at that isn't that beautiful that's really beautiful don't try and sell me handbags right now god damn it I don't want to see that shit that out uh, this I love the dress with like the slit of fabric on the side definitely um so yeah through the braids okay okay let's get out of here a little bit we got it we, we got a bit from there but yeah um and i'll say a lot of the outfits that i design are within similar aesthetics of what i of what i wear usually you know give or take exaggerated or not Let's go back to the top and let's see what we can find here. See if there's anything else. I just want to try. I just want to try and look up some stuff. Just see kind of generally what we can find if we find anything cool. And we'll settle on something. We'll maybe make three or four outfits. Just like sketching them quickly, moving on. You know. <laughs> That's fun. Mozzie, 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 you got a new alien robot girl you're trying to design? Mozzie, Mozzie? <laughs> Mozzie, look at the screen. You got a new alien girl you're trying to design? I think this is her new dress. <laughs> you got another one brewing in that sketchbook of yours? I think this is it. <laughs> this is it. You love green and purple. So it's kind of right up your alley. Kind of ridiculous though, isn't it? Wait, no. Back, back. I love this. I wanna see that. Um so yeah, let me look let me look through the J Fashion one more time just to see, and then I'll actually go to my actual favorite bit of inspiration lately, which has been a lot of Korean fashion and a lot of like Korean idol fashion. I don't listen to any K-pop whatsoever, but I do like looking at the fits. You did like that? Then yeah, then then uh, you, want, you want me to go back? You want me to? I can go back. I can go back and find it for you. I'll save it. And 
I'll save it. I've saved it just for you, Mozzie. Just for you. So yeah, we're gonna look we're gonna look through a little bit more. I like what she's wearing. I like what she's wearing quite a lot. Um, so maybe this is a good rabbit hole to go down. Remember with Pinterest, if you like something, you click on it and then you see more stuff that goes there by association. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Holy shit! Look at this nostalgia. I want the- I- I- yes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes, yes, immediately yes. Look at- look at this! Look at this! Look at this! The brats wore this! I know they did! Pinterest is great for all sorts of things. And since they steal most of their images, you can just- They have so many! <laughs> it's, I- I, um, I, I, as a rule, um, don't, uh, don't, don't, like, I try not to engage with stuff on, pin with stuff on Pinterest, um, because I assume most of it's stolen until proven otherwise. Um, but, uh, mostly I've been actually saving a lot of, um, I've been saving a lot of, uh, like how like home decor pins on a separate account. And this is the, I, I I I specifically made a new account for this stream, um, but I've been saving a lot of like home decor stuff, you know, because I'm moving to a new place, different size, different configurations. So a lot of furniture is gonna gonna be um, gonna be uh, sold pretty soon. So um, I need some inspiration for what new stuff to get because I have interesting things like bar seating now and i'm gonna be getting a new bookshelf because my current bookshelf too small and all that yeah i like this this is like this is heck this could be a vtuber right here this right here could be a vtuber <laughs> there's a new vtuber i'm gonna save that just because of that that's a new vtuber right over there um oh speaking of literally avril lavigne <laughs> Literally Avril Lavigne. <laughs> I didn't even know she was down here. Right there she is. I have to say, a part of me is so glad this low-waisted trend has pretty much died, though it's trying to claw its way back out. I won't let it come back. Um, but like, dang, does it- it, it does kind of make for interesting character design. But like, it doesn't look good on most people. And by most people, I mean me. I don't, I don't, I, mm -mm. not me. It looks good on her. Not me. <laughs> not me. I need to hide my shame. <laughs> I, need, I need to, I need to, I need to hide all the strawberry donuts I've been eating. Okay, what else do we got here? Oh my gosh, iconic, iconic, iconic. Absolutely iconic. This is I how how did I even make it into this page? This is some nana shit. This is some this is some kino. This is some This is this is this is good is what I'm saying. This is this is the good shit. This is what I like. This is what I like to see. We'll come back. We'll go back and forth here and there as we find stuff. Ooh, I love this. I like the boots. I always wanted boots like that. This is kind of terrible, but kind of great. You know, you know, like what, like what the, like what the fuck are the, what, what the fuck is that skirt? But also, I kind of like it. <laughs> like, like, well, it's the ugliest skirt I've ever seen. Also, can I have it? <laughs> okay, okay, I think we're. Let me scroll through more before before I before I click off just to make sure I'm not missing any good shit. Um, I like that, but monochromatic is sometimes hard to sell with a character design. You want to break up the color a little bit with something. I'm, I, I meant this one, this one specifically. Cute, cute fit. Monochromatic's hard to do. In fact, I generally don't suggest it. Cut, like, break up the color of the of the character with something. You have to. You know, Spike Spiegel, full blue suit, yellow tie, <laughs> or yellow. What? How? What is Spike Spiegel's design? Something. So, so there's like a pop of yellow he has there on his suit. 
I make it work. Like this. Purple boots. That's real cute. Okay, okay, so let's do uh, K-pop fashion. Now here I'm kind of like clenching a little bit, I feel like, because if, if, I, if I'm going to accidentally stumble across any NSFW stuff, I feel like it's going to be accident. Like if I if I stray too far into the K-pop and into the into the K-pop um, fandom, I might accidentally come across some stuff. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to ask that none of you guys are uh, like, please, please, please don't be. I don't want no fucking snitches on this channel. <laughs> OK. There, that's my solution. I, if I see one snitch in this channel, <laughs> I swear. You didn't see nothing. Nothing happened here. All that. Hmm. Hmm, trying to design some black and white characters. Well, I mean, that is sometimes a requirement, right? You have to be able to... Well, you know what? We'll try We'll try one. We'll try one. Um, and actually, this might be an okay outfit to do that with. Um, because, because, uh, uh, you know, like, if you want to do a black and white comic or something, they have to be able to know how to do some black and white characters. We're going to try it. Which, oh no, go back. Go, what was the other outfit that, you, that was there? Ah, uh, whatever. I lost it. Picking up some good high contrast outfits can help with that. Um, and K-pop idols love their black and white outfits. Not monochromatic necessarily, but... Very black. Ooh, that's cute. I just like that. I just like it. Aw. 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 Guys. That's cute. Guys. Pinterest already figured out Nigerian. Guys, how'd they do it? How'd they do that? I bet this account for 30 seconds. It's not allowed. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. Oh, I don't even oh, I don't even know what character that's for. A blue diamond or some shit. That's just cool. That's a character right there. A character right there. I don't know if I like the proportions of this. I think this is, I don't think this is good actually. The proportions of this is very off. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, fun fact. Do you know I once had one of those little, like, shoulder shrug things? Go, no, no. Back, back, back. You saw it. This thing, I once had one of those. I had it for about a year before I gave it up because I realized that if you are a normal human slash demon, whatever may have you, uh, it's, like, pretty impossible to style that and not look ridiculous. And I've worn some ridiculous stuff. Like somehow that one was just absolute like, what even is it? <laughs> how how do you even style it? Apparently like this, but can't help but think if I were to see this woman on the street, I would either think shit that she looks incredibly, incredibly good or just is a sociopath. Either way. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Ooh, this isn't, see, this isn't bad for black and white. The, a coat like this. Maybe consider if you're gonna do another, another black and white design. Especially if you're if you're making, maybe gonna stay away from pixel. Or if you're gonna do pixel. Um, doing a good texture. You know, it's digital nowadays, right? It's so easy to just have a texture and paste it on something flat. And if not, and not even necessarily add any extra time. Um, but like doing a, um, Throwing a texture over an item 
to give the eye some interest because the human eye is drawn to detail. Um, to like grab some attention to the character in a way that doesn't just involve a lot of contrast. Um, could really could really work. So if you so maybe you give the character a full black outfit and put on a coat like this on top of them. You can really like give something that will keep your eye on them. You know, I'm imagining this person is like. I don't know, the main character to a romance webcomic or something, where she's like an up-and-coming journalist, I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Um, That's just good. That's just good fashion. That's just good fashion. Can I say? But yeah. But yeah. It's probably not an exaggeration to say that, like, in order to get better at drawing outfits, you do somewhat have to develop your own taste and fashion. Um, or at least steal your taste from others. Um, there are plenty of books on, on like, fashion illustration that can help you steal some taste. <laughs> that I would, that I, I, I feel like I, I haven't... Do not, I also have not seen the Rugrats reboot. I refuse to. Um, not for any nostalgic reasons or any um, like critic or quality reasons. Just I don't want to. <laughs> it looks mid. I don't really care. I was never that into the original Rugrats. Oh yeah. Oh, I've been. No oh my gosh. I, I, I swear. On some of the websites that I've been frequenting, I've been noticing more and more outfits like this. Outfits that like. I can't help but think a normal person would never actually be able to wear this, right? Or like outfits that are definitely made for illustration or made for photography that are usually sold surprisingly cheap. These might not actually be a terrible inspiration, but dang would I never wear this. Ever. And honestly, if I if I if I wanted to to um, original where I got, Shami finds a dead body and almost dies. Nice. Um, and I uh it, honestly, if if I were to want to communicate that a character was like uh like a young fashionable woman or something, I would more likely lean towards this. Or, even this than I ever would something like this. This to me is quite ugly. Like, I don't even think it looks particularly good on the character illustration. So... Yeah, that's my- that's my roast of this. This one's- this one's a little- this one's a little better. But only because on the character you can get away with it not you know like obviously on a real person would look completely stitched on ooh some 1950s shit ooh, how about how about that how about that's our last thing to do last last bit of inspo Let's look up some 1950s fashion my old love that classic I just like the silhouette. What can I say? I like the silhouette. I liked the snatched waists. I like the colors. A lot of the fashion illustrations from this time um, were innovating quite a bit as far as art goes. A lot of them are just, inc are just incredibly, incredibly skilled. Shocking sometimes to find out that like an illustration this beautiful was in like a sewing magazine or something. You're like, why wasn't this artist? I don't know. Like in like like it like in an art gallery or something. Why was this just being put on a put on a sewing magazine? Some of it just seems so so nice and so extravagant. I'm sure some of these guys were maybe, or maybe this is how they got their start, but some of it is just so beautiful, so effortless in the way that it's done. 
I find that I find that a lot of times modern people who are trying to copy it don't quite get it. You know, like this is not quite understanding it as well. It's something about the gesture. I think it's stuff like this that really has fed into like the way modern character design is done. 1950s art prints or fashion fashion plates. They're very, very good. Okay, but I'm not seeing too much that I want to necessarily steal for now. Oh, except maybe that. That's pretty cool. Probably hard to draw over and over again for a character design, but you know what? For just a simple illustration. Yeah. Dang, she is or set it up in that, huh? They cinched her. I will so I will say though that um one one of the, you <clears throat> here here's here's your here's your historical fashion tip for the day. Um this uh, was definitely retouched to make her thinner than what she actually is. Not even a single question about it. They had Photoshop back in the day too. And it was called just getting out some actual physical paint and painting over the master copy. <laughs> All you have to do is get some, is, is, see, is, you know, you take the picture of her and then as you're recoloring the photo by hand anyway, because a lot of times they had to take, you know, this photo is probably taken in black and white and then painted over. You just take your green paint that you painted over and you cinch her waist in a little bit. See, it's even kind of obvious, even kind of obvious around around the inside of her, her ribs on the left side that they that they just painted in that line. <laughs> they had Photoshop back then, too, guys. Or like this. How easy would it have been to, if that was just actually blacked out, if they just painted in that little thing? How easy would that have been? Pretty easy, huh? Pretty easy. So, yeah. <laughs> Photoshop's been here forever. <laughs> Um, because like even up, you have this photo, right? That's like this is a bit more. This is this is this is a bit more like within reality. <laughs> this is women walking by the street. Even if they are quite thin still. Okay, I'm on. I'm not seeing anything here that's like grabbing me. So how about we just look at what we have? Well, we look at what we have so far, and just see what see what see what we can see what we can do, right? And um, how about for this one? I ask the I ask the audience what kind of. Okay. Oh, so since 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 I'm probably going to do a couple different ones, we have time for a couple different ones. I could do I, I could I could put myself in a new outfit and then I could make and then and then I could make maybe one new character how about that I think we have enough to do both so also the mo so the more modern ones can be maybe you know putting myself in something new we can take some of this other stuff with the big sleeves the dramatic prints and all that and we can um we can we can we can make like maybe a queen character or something. Um, just a simple character design, quick sketch. Don't expect anything too pretty. Oh, also for fun, I'll maybe I'll do maybe black and white. I'll do a black and white one as well. Actually, let's, actually, let's do the black and white one first. Uh, let's just get a screen size. A regular old canvas. Not going to be repurposing it for much of anything. Might post it on Twitter later. IDK. 
Okay. So let's put in put in some photos. I can see, you can tell too. I've been looking at like figures and stuff and other stuff. Actually, ooh, one thing I've been looking into doing is um, so I have a 3DS currently, um, but I've I've actually kind of been wanting to get another 3DS just for the sake of modding the hell out of it and using it for ROMs. Um, and, app and apparently Japanese 3DSs are going for a lot cheaper than US ones are right now, as I found out. So um, I'm considering getting one. I'm considering, but I have to wait for uh, other stuff, other expenses to be cleared first. Okay, do black and white one first. Oh wait, give me a second. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's not gonna... Let me see, I'm trying to save the photo. Okay, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, anything else here? It's like cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. I just like that. Just gonna be getting some black and white inspo first. Hmm. Okay. Old black and white cartoons. Okay, we can. I mean, we can. That that still works. That still works with what we got. That very much works. Are you kidding me? Can you not see like Betty Boop wearing something like this? Or maybe not like this. Maybe. 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 Definitely something like this. Okay. Let's let's do an old cartoon style character. I've even done. I've even done stuff like that before. That's not the biggest deal. Um, Betty Boop can, in fact, pull off everything. How about I try and find... So how about we, um... How about I try and find that, uh, that, that Little Red Riding Hood character? Uh, Little Red... Um... No, not that one. Um... I'm pretty sure that's what that character's called. Oh, Tex Avery. So red Tex Avery. Let's see. Let's find her. She'll be our inspiration. Yes, yes, yes. You Okay, you got it. You got it. Tex Avery. Uh, she'll be our inspiration. Um... We find a good picture of her. Um, honestly, I'm expecting an NSFW an NSFW one here, so I'm not showing it until I have the image secured. This this, this is where I'm just like I'm I'm quite positive, quite positive something's gonna happen. just this just a simple first image do okay let's go back before i accidentally stumble across something i should not you have okay let's look at the discord then let me go there let me go there then okay is, is it the, so it's, the, it's this character over here right this is your this is your this is your character um, maybe we'll focus on her first, and then we can maybe, th maybe, we can maybe just talk about him, but I see, I see. So you're going for very, like, very, very, like, uh, I see, I see, I see where you're going for. Um, she looks, so she looks somewhere between a Homestuck character and, like, olive oil, almost. But I think one of the issues with her is that I think you tried to make her too pretty, actually. I think the reason why you're not feeling with her is because the design's kind of... 
edging on boring and she's being a little overwhelmed by these other two it's fine to want to make her look normal in comparison but i think it's i think I think also like pushing extremes of like olive oil is a very extreme character as far as her as far as her proportions go. Um, uh, I think I think it might benefit if you decided to push her silhouette specifically more. Um, like either make her like really thin like olive oil or give her a bit more of like a more exaggeratedly round figure or or anything, you know? Um, it's, it's just a little too reserved at the moment. I'm not going to try and remake this one for you. I will just say that though, you know, just push her a bit more so she's not being overwhelmed by the other two. So she feels like she fits. Um, and yeah. Oh, also, um, just for, just for more vintage sake, make the hair shorter. Do like the curls right next to her face. So like, if I were to quickly show you what i'm thinking it would be it would be maybe something like uh give me a second let me just get might be it might be it might be something like uh so give her like a bit more of just something just something else here Um, maybe we can... I'll go thin. I'll go thin. Yeah, they definitely did. I think she just needs a bit... I think she just needs a bit more work. We're looking at the 50s, right? So you can give her, like, the good... A good, like, big skirt. And, like, the stick legs. No, use the 50s silhouette. Use the 50 silhouette where she has the sloping shoulders. Racer's too big. It's like sloping shoulders, the big silhouette. And then you can even give her like I don't know, ridiculous feet or something. What if her feet are like this? But this is maybe like a little too my life as a teenage robot, but it could be fun still. What was the outfit you gave her? Not too much of anything. We can just make something else up, probably. Like, what if... What if her design was like... Yeah, I'm just going in simply here, going in very quickly. Like bags under her eyes or something. Big ol' eyelashes. Cartoon eyes. Don't forget to give her ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't copy verbatim. Do your own thing, definitely. V neck. Bell shaped dress, give her something on the trim. I'm just literally drawing nonsense here for now. Yeah, I don't know, something like this. To like, just, you know, just do something with shape. Uh, your discretion. Your discretion if you want to, if you want to show it off now or future surprise. Either way, I'm okay. But for now, I'm gonna get to drawing my my own kind of black and white character. Why not? While you're doing that. I don't really have a story for the character or anything. It's kind of trying to make something that looks good and... I don't know, may maybe, maybe she is what I was talking about. The star of like a romance manga. Who knows? Sunny days? Sunny days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Oh, if you have a character like that, then you have to either make her really 
Yeah, so yeah, so that's why the character's two in the middle. You have to either make her look really, really cheerful and out there. Like big, like big blonde hair, everything. Or or make her like super depressing. <laughs> one, or, one or the other, you can't, or... <laughs> yeah, just one, just one or the other. And the demeanor doesn't matter if the demeanor matches her look or if it's the opposite of her look. Either way, it, it works. <laughs> But yeah, definitely just look look up. Um, ooh, great thing to do when I when I did um, I did a little um, like vintage. All right, I did a little like vintage um, old cartoon project at one point too. Um, find pictures of movie stars from that era that you like the look of. Not just the prettiest ones, but just the ones that are maybe like visually the most interesting or weird or whatever. Or just ones that you vibe with like uh like uh i i, I for, for for one character from that i found like an image of eartha kit from that time that i that i really liked as an example things like that okay okay so we kind of have like a couple different ideas here right we know we know maybe um, oh, let's see. Any advice on the other two? The other two are a lot more are are a lot are a lot more complete in my in my opinion. A lot more there. Um, I don't know. I almost feel like once you push her, you'll know where to make the changes with the other two. Um, but if, if, you, if you push her, you could probably find places to push them as well. Like giving this guy more spindly, creepy legs. Um, maybe finding ways to put the rabbit a little bit more in this time period. Find some specific re reference for the rabbit that isn't Bugs Bunny is maybe my advice. Um, push him more towards the time period because he maybe looks because while she's looking drowned out he maybe looks like he's not a part of he's from a different time he's he's from a different time period okay 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 well if it's intentional that he looks like he's from okay okay the, okay then that fits actually because he he because he 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 totally looks like he maybe doesn't quite fit in with the other two not just the color sense um Hanna Barbera see that I might not have guessed that I wouldn't have guessed. What are the hallmarks of Hanna-Barbera style? What are the hallmarks of Hanna-Barbera style? What's missing that I wasn't able to guess that? Someone just literally throw in their own OCs as if we wouldn't notice. Uh, what is... Okay. What is missing here? I think, I think the way that the eyes are done is... Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to cut off the head in some way. That is true. Um, they like neck accessories. Um, yeah, I think the way the eyes are done is 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 sticking out. Um, the very distinctive body shape they like to use. The the this, the this shape, followed by the hand, the arm like this. There's like a, there's like a specific way they they do all of that. The lazy can kind of do whatever a little bit. Hmm. I feel like it's close. It can, it can be finessed. It can be finessed. But maybe, maybe, maybe look at your reference more closely if this is the style you're going for. Because I would, I would not have guessed Hanna Barbera. I would have guessed actually much more recent. But yeah. 
there's a specific it's it's it, there's a specific shape language involved with it that not only has to do with this artist but also has to do with um with the animation pipeline at this time and the fact that these guys just didn't have a lot of money or time to make any of these cartoons so that so the designs had to be streamlined in a certain way um for basically what amounted to early flash animation <laughs> early like puppet puppetry animation um so they say wouldn't have to actually reanimate too many of the frames. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess. Well, you say you wanted a little bit different, right? Um, yeah, work work on a little bit. I because because this is where I might this is where I might say maybe you want it a little different. Maybe your instinct is saying I want it to go a little further. But think about it this way: these the two other characters are are rooted very strongly in a specific time period, right? And you want the contrast to be that this guy is from a different time period. So you have to nail that time period. Even if you don't get that specific animation studio, you have to nail that time period. And you have to like, maybe where I'd say as much as possible, try and remove yourself from it because parts of yourself will come through it regardless. So as much as possible, try and find the artists you want to come through him, especially. Because I think people in their heads have uh, an idea for what vintage style looks like you can kind of like fuck with it and fuck you know and, and like they'll still recognize but um you want to but, but if you go within within a time period that is within people's memories they're gonna they're gonna like like hannah barbera you know like i remember hannah barbera cartoons you remember her hannah barbera cartoons mozzie they're gonna they're gonna latch on to that and they're gonna like their 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 eyes are gonna be way more critical when it's off so yeah. Um. Anyway, let's let's draw let's draw our our romance protagonist. Let's let's see what we got here. <laughs> let's see what we got here. Get out a pencil. Get out a pencil here. Um. Now, what do I like? Now, I this is why I like to have multiple outfits because I don't like to be the person. Unless it's an unless it's an older iconic outfit, i.e., unless the artist who made it is most likely dead. Um I don't like just copying the outfit. Um, one for one. Um, as much as I like referencing it or or that, because um you know, well well if, if it's if it's an older artist, there's something to be said about homage, but newer artists, it's like uh, you're, you're 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 poking the Twitter bear a little bit. You're poking the Twitter bear to to to, to get in trouble. Um, some some fifteen year old's gonna say that you're you're a hack fraud. <laughs> so 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 let's see what we got here, right? Uh, what do I like? I like big coat. I like pattern. I like this hair, and I like the idea of a bustier. Which can kind of be seen here too a little bit. Something to highlight the booba. And then some stockings. Maybe not this kind of stockings. This is this is cute as hell, but maybe not what we're looking for. So I'm thinking of a character in like a bustier, like fitted dress with a coat, with a big overcoat, with a cool like paisley or checkered pattern on top. And hair in pigtails. So ostensibly a character that's like girly but kind of sexy, you know, slight bimbo energy in that delightful kind of way. <laughs> Give me more light. Um, we can kind of like, and and of course this is like a really nice design. I'm not gonna do the proportions like this because I don't like proportions like this, and. Maybe my goal here is more manga protagonist than it is this era. In fact, it's so much manga protagonist that I feel like maybe this isn't fitting anymore. Um, I'll keep it. Keep it. You know what? You can stay a little bit longer. Stay until I tell you to stay or until I tell you to leave. So this is what we're going for, right? So we're going for like 
romance protagonist, and we're not gonna go super cartoony. Because, you know, the, 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 the draw of any good romance protagonist is that, like, hey, she could be you, lonely woman reading this book. <laughs> or whatever, whatever, whatever may have you. Um, so I don't want to go, we don't, we don't, we don't push it too far. We also don't want to make her, I don't know, maybe, maybe a little Disney princess. Maybe a little Disney, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Um, I love the hairs over here. How do I do a pigtails without it just being Sailor Moon? That's the question. <laughs> it's very Sailor Moon style, right? Okay, let's shut up and just draw something. Okay, I love her pose, so I'm gonna steal it. Also love her face. The rounder cheekbones. I love her eyes. I want to do like the big like eyelashes. Hmm. A sketch just a small sketch Every, everything everything goes back to sailor moon always i love the way her shoulders are so how about i exaggerate the shoulder you see how it's going to go like see you see how it's down like that i'm going to put it all the way up to her to her cheek now i'm also going to like switch up the We're gonna modernize Miss Red a little bit over here. I'm gonna give her those hips. Consider this almost like the spiritual successor to my JoJo's streams from way back. I love her delicate little feet, so we're gonna steal them. Mm, you know what? Let me make let me let me check something here. I want to make sure it makes sense. <laughs> I can bring this in over here to give us more of the shape. But I want it to make sense. I want it to make it where she has knees. <laughs> like see, the like anatomy on that draw on, on this drawing is pretty dang good. Hex Avery knew what the fuck he was about, you know? Okay, so we have this delightful raised shoulder. And his arms are so rounded. I don't want to add too harsh of a... Too harsh of a thing on there. Doing a bustier, so make sure we find both of the boobs, not just one. OK. 
Okay, so that's about the pose we're looking at here. Let's draw her ear just so she has one. Just so we know she has one. We gotta find all the boobs. You can see here too, we've carved out a pretty good figure for her. And it's nice and rounded and elegant. That feels like both of these gowns. So let's also find the hairline. I love it. It's, it's my favorite bit of art terminology. Whenever your teacher says you have to find things. Like you're like you're a sculptor searching for the figure within the marble. I'm mostly kidding. Um, because there's like really tight ponytails. We're gonna worry. You know, we're gonna worry about specific hair later. I feel like it's gonna get lost if we try right now. So. Let's, let's make her a bit bigger and let's make some of this reference a little smaller now that we know what we're doing. And we'll do the next layer of the sketch. Which is just basically just finding the outfit. We're gonna, dip, we're gonna get a new layer and we're gonna try and this is I like I like doing it like this. It's just it's just like I'm because this is just quick design stuff I'm kind of doing less steps than I usually do for my normal illustration. So I'm just like quickly finding the body and most of the features now. Now I'm immediately gonna go onto the outfit and then the, and then the next sketch is gonna be the last one we're just gonna maybe put over some black and white. I'm gonna maybe find a texture for her jacket. Yeah. So we want like we want this jacket. We want some we want to give her some beautiful tights. We want to give her a bustier. We have to make sure we show off all of that, right? We can't just hide everything below the jacket. Um it's one of those things that um it's it's a it's a thing in animation that also works for comics or anything which is that you it's it's good not always necessary but it's good when your character has a prop that they can kind of perform with um and a jacket or a staff or like a big hat or whatever may have you giant eyebrows a fucking mustache i don't know i don't really care but as long as there's something that can like that the character can emote with it can help make them really memorable and so in this case, I'm gonna give her a jacket that she could be like, I don't, you know, you know, like the one, what's the one gift? What's that one gift? What's that one gift? I'm gonna find it. You know, it's like the from Anastasia. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find this thing. The grandmother. It's me, Anastasia. I need a gift. I need a gift for this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This shit. <laughs> That's the best shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Give him something to perform with. Maybe she won't do something like that, but... You know. Give her opportunities to take it on. Put it on and take it off. And have it slump on her shoulders. And Maybe she's surprised and one of the shoulders falls down and <laughs> something, something. Prop doesn't have to be as dramatic as a wizard's staff. So let's give her, let's give her these cute little hairs first.
We can also give her a braid like this girl has over here, but genuinely, I think that might be too hard to draw over and over again. I kind of want to avoid it. I want to give her like two slick ponytails, two slick pigtails. So we can here's an option we can make them flare out like that we can just make them really really straight actually actually one of the first pinterest tips i saw while i was like preparing for today that made me mad was someone that just said basically you can't have pin straight hair like a lot of people have pin straight hair why is that just just because you like it better when it does a curve doesn't mean you have to do that curves should be Curve, curves should be um, used carefully with drawings. Also, is it just me or somehow in between Tex Avery and modern day fashion, I landed right at Bratstall? I don't mind it, but it did happen. Somewhere between, like, I guess, what is halfway between Tex Avery and modernity? 1990s fashion dolls. Of course. I kind of like the sharp. Consider a rounder eyelash, but I like the sharp eyelash. Mm, smaller face. Also, ask any anime artist. Noses really aren't that important. I kind of want to give her more of a nose. At least something. You know what? Actually, I think the eyebrows are okay. But I'm feeling something's missing here with the rest of the face. Nicer. 
Skylight's in a different kind of way. I want to make her all forehead. That is a choice. That is a choice. That is a conscious choice. Entirely forehead. I think her eyebrow is floating away a little bit too. Okay. Give her a nice bustier. Some like cleavage. Ooh, do I just like the way that one is done with the rhinestones surrounding? Kinda do. aren't just melons uh, vacuum sealed onto a chest they have weight to them they have weight to them heft fall they sag some are perkier than others there's an anatomy to them study them well they're precious. They're precious in these trying times. In fact, I'm gonna go on ahead and highlight that boob with this hair. And choose to hide the shoulder. give her a bit of a wider shoulder just to show that there are shoulder pads in there but maybe that maybe they're sagging a little bit they aren't doing too much make the hands like that pretty simple but we'll revisit them later
Give her dramatic flair with the coat. And we're going to make the dress basically skin tight. A little bit of thigh fat because I'm not a monster. <laughs> Just a demon who enjoys a little bit of absolute territory. I'm gonna try and color this. I'm gonna try and just do a quick sketch over, and we're gonna color this all in black and white. Oh, by the way, the way they, they do feet, um, there is a little bit more shape to it, what it looks like at a glance. Um, uh, I would say, uh, take a look at the way uh, some of the 1950s fashion plates draw feet. And that's actually not a bad idea for how they do it. They're like if feet were insubstantial, ephemeral things. So if these women didn't quite walk, but they floated, yet they still had, yet they were still like solid structures, just like a little less so. <laughs> More petals than feet, but they still have a structure to them. Um of that everything's gonna be more or less glossed over. Okay, so how are we going to do this? And do I want to add any accessories? That's actually important. Do I want to add any accessories? I quite like her choker. And I quite like the idea of this trim. I'm going to add this trim to the bottom of her dress. You know, kind of brings it both ways and then add a choker. We're gonna try some drawing. We're gonna see if we manage to get anywhere with this or if the design just needs to be thrown out. But you should never be afraid. Just throw out your design if you feel like it's not working out. Never be afraid to just do that. But we're gonna go straight into just inking or we're just gonna do this really simply. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna try and be too, too, uh, any which way with this. The goal isn't to be too clean or too messy or anything. The goal is just to kind of render it quickly. So we can move on to the next thing. Um, I'm gonna go thick, but not that thick.
When in doubt, just imply it instead of render it. I'm actually going to be blacking out a lot of her hair. Not all of it. But a lot of it. I kind of want to maintain a mono lid. Let's see. I don't know. The original model is like the original model that we were kind of basing everything off of is Asian. purely black and white on this.
I'm just kind of getting into it. I'm sorry if I'm not talking or anything. just about done here and close to it anyway
Oh yeah, um, I'll say this. You don't have to put highlights on all of your blacks. But two things you do have to do is consider the placement carefully and commit to one or the other, most likely. Or at least, you know, just be mindful of the fabrics you Look at these little leather ballet flats, but ballet flats. Um, probably should have some highlights on them. This kind of satiny skin tight dress should have a highlight. Okay, so we have two textures we want to be adding. We'll do one in like turquoise and one in. Uh, we'll choose we'll choose another color. Basically, I'm just gonna be adding a adding a fabric choice for the coat and for the stockings. This fabric will kind of act as our gray scale option. Since I'm too lazy to do any shading. Oh, those old cartoons were hardly shaded, honestly, so we're, we're good. Okay. Okay, I think this this is called houndstooth, right? And then I think we're just looking for simple fishnet texture. probably fine. And if we had more than five seconds, I'm sure I could find a, a better texture. Okay, so if we're doing like a simple 
black and white character design. This is this is I guess my <laughs> my response to it done in about in what like 45 minutes an hour something like that. Um Not bad for a first pass. Not perfect, I don't think, but not bad for a first pass. It's something. It's something. What would I what would I look looking at it already? What would I change? Um I might work on the face a little more still. I might try and, you know. Today's an outfit stream, but I'm not gonna try and nitpick nitpick that too much. I quite like the hair. Uh actually quite a lot. Though I might actually go for it with the braids, give it another chance. And um, probably instead of fishnets, I would probably instead have her just be wearing like simple kind of um, the black, like kind of translucent tights. Um, those are hot. <laughs> those are hot. Or uh, give her different stockings. I might try out something with like maybe a garter belt, whatever. This is kind of my first shot at it. I think I think the I think the pattern is quite effective for kind of this visible character, but yeah, I might also as a, as a as just an experiment try to do literally what this coat does that I was referencing, which is have the outside of the coat not be a pattern and have the inside be the part that's patterned. But I'd have to see. That's hot. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my thought process. So let's talk a little bit about it. Um, cause I didn't talk much while I was doing it. I ended up getting sucked in a little bit. Um, so main thing when it comes to black and white character design is, um, like, you know, I, I, I guess applies for either black and white or grayscale, which is just, you know, consider your blacks, um, consider where you put details. Um, and consider how you're going to be staging the character. So if, let's say this character is going to like a lot of, you know, romance character, a lot of cafe stuff. You're seeing her a lot from the waist up, which is good because her face is framed by the pigtails. The, the pattern keeps her from getting lost in a shot. Um, and have her act with these little like hair thingies. Um... You know, there's a lot of contrast in her face and around her face that allows her to be really visible. Uh, forget the little, sorry, forgive the little. Forgive the little. I had her ear, I lost her ear. Forgive the little mistakes here. I realize this, I realize it's full of errors the more I'm looking at it, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I have to do two more before the stream's over. Um, so, yeah. And, um, but like at the same time, still a silhouette that could still be probably pretty memorable. Um, I'm assuming you're not going to give too many of your characters these kinds of big pigtails. I mean, maybe, but why would you? It's a character that could be recognizable. You know, she could be main character or even just memorable side character or whatever, whatever you needed. Part of the cast, who knows? Your pick, but yeah, just be careful where you put your blacks and whites. High contrast and areas that should be focused on patterns to draw the eye. There we go. So it's black and white character design. We don't have color to rely on what you do. Uh, let's do another one. Do another one. I said I was going to try for. Uh, let's let's actually let's let, let's let's give myself a let's give myself a softball. Let's uh let's make an outfit for myself. For this next one, let's let's make it out. Let's 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 dress me up in something. Um. Oh yeah. Let me. While I'm at it. While I'm at it, let me post that so you got it. So you can save it. <laughs> I can see your... Oh yeah, yeah, the one on the right is much more specific. It's much, it's much closer, it's much closer there. Yeah, the one on the right is much more... 
is 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 much better i think more specific it's him much younger okay I, I i see i see that but i i think it's a much better design is the thing i think it's i think it's actually a much better design i think we're i think we're kind of i think the I, I think i'm glad you got rid of the shirt we're kind of losing him in it i think i think this is actually much stronger and much close and much visually closer to what you were referencing Re rework the older one but the younger one i think is actually good the young one the, the younger ones the young ones are there um what do i want to wear what do i want to wear what do i want to wear as but a simple demon girl do i want to wear cds all up and down my body that's pretty demonic that's pretty hot and older like he lost himself yeah but consider this when you see someone in really oversized clothing it doesn't necessarily give off the appearance of older it usually does the opposite <laughs> usually makes them look younger like they're trying on their mom's or father's or whatever cl clothes it, it doesn't necessarily give the impression of older and grizzled. Kind of makes him look like a cute pet. You know? What do I want to wear? What do you guys want me to wear? What are we looking at here? I actually, I actually still really like this one. I think I could rock this one. It's kind of within my normal silhouette anyway. French coat, but that failed. Yeah, but I don't think oversized. I don't know. I don't think oversized is necessarily bomber jacket and aviators. I don't think necessarily even changing his clothes is the way to do it. I think just making him look more tired. I think there's a lot you can do with simply a change in posture and bags under his eyes. Make his make his tie make his tie a little looser, a little bit more askew. Give put make make it where there's a hole in make it where there's a hole in his hat now or something. Like you got like got shot at. Ooh, what's ooh, what's that detective from oh my there's oh my gosh oh, who's the who's the the um the okay uh miles edgeworth investigations detective bad <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> this motherfucker He's so good. <laughs> He's so good. No, 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 no. This guy. This guy. He's so good. Yeah, this is him when he's younger, and then when he's older, same. Just now he's been shot at a bunch of times. There's holes in his jacket. <laughs> that's not a cigarette, also. That's a lollipop. That was confirmed. His name is his his name is Tyrell Bad with two D's, and it's amazing. This guy, this guy, this is your new reference. This is, this is I, I've 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 decided this is your new reference. <laughs> he's the best part of this terrible terrible game. He's not wearing it. The coat is just draped over him. <laughs> the coat is just draped over him, full of holes. His tie is also full of holes. He has incredible daddy energy. <laughs> I love him. I love him. He's so terrible. But he's so terrible. He's so terrible. I, he's great. 10 out of 10. He knew Miles' dad. Don't play Miles, Miles Edgeworth Investigations. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible game. Anyway, I like this outfit. I want to wear something like this. Let's see what else they got. What else do they got? Or even just can I adapt it? Um. 
Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. My brains are thinking. Hmm. Ooh. That's just cool. Oh, I love this. <gasps> Guys, I love this. Guys, I love this. Guys, it's good though. Or like this, I think giant bow. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like giant bow is going to be the way to go. But giant bow looks better on, on, I think small, well, let's wait, let's see. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, me with this hair though. Me with this hair though. Me with this hair though. Let's see. This is also not necessarily me being like, this is the next outfit I'm gonna draw myself in. Um, or like make make the next model for. That's a that's a long ways off. That's a long ways off. Um But I've i I've definitely been looking at inspiration still. Okay. You know what? I'm think I think I'm like I think I'm I'm looking at this and I'm I'm already kind of knowing where I'm headed. A little bit. We still got that. I didn't or anything. I'm looking at this and I'm already understanding where we're headed a little bit. Okay. Let me draw a me base, because I think I have an idea already. Let me draw a me base. Do I remember what I look like? Yes, I do. This is your little how to draw me lesson. Oh yeah, when in doubt, just draw your boobs like this. For a base, it's literally not bad. Okay, so I love the high waist thing. The high waist. I want to do like super, like tutu. Very high waist. Like even more exaggerated. Actually, no, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Don't need to do that yet. Finish the base first. worry about the hair later and arms barely matter here can whip that one up pretty quick how to draw me stream exactly this is a, this is about the base you need pretty much and then after that it's like find anything goes <laughs> but yeah make sure it's just with wider hips 
die gap because I felt like it. Honestly, thick thighs are acceptable. Not like required for my character's canon. <laughs> Perfectly acceptable. Perfectly ex encouraged, in fact, but... Okay, so with this outfit, what I like about it, I like the big skirt, I like the shoulder muffs, I like the big bow, but there are certain details I want to add about it and mess with. And I'm also going to mess with the hair a bit more. So I love the big skirt that just kind of flares out. So I love the... I love drawing these, genuinely. Barely, this is barely... Make the skirt as short as possible. Ooh, has it? That's interesting. It's hard for me to notice. It's hard for me to notice sometimes. Exactly how. This is this is mostly just me drawing whatever or taking reference from whatever. How, how has it changed? How would you describe old one versus new one? I'm curious. Do the bow. Or is it just like the way that I draw people that's changed a little bit? Also more definition. Well, that's good. That's 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 not a bad change. That's not a bad change at all. I think angular is good. I think angular is good. It means there's more structure to it. I'm trying to improve with my structure. <laughs> but our art styles fluctuate, come and go, and all that. Um, I actually wanted to do, to incorporate a harness type look into this. Um. Ooh, ooh, what if I did a this? What if I did, guys? Hear me out. Mm, it's not work. I'm trying to make something work here. Let me see. Hmm. I think it can work. No, it has to be upside down, right? Or else it's not real, not authentic. Trying to make it work. Like it's not quite working. Well, fun idea. Ah! Oh, hello! We're drawing some cool outfits today. Thank you for joining us. I won't do any any muffs. What am I, an ice demon? 
we're yeah we we did we did just draw a kind of white and black uh character design that is a cool emote by the way that is really cool uh white and black character design um just real quick whipped one up um and now we're doing this one drawing, drawing an outfit for me no not a maid dress necessarily um but uh just 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 kind of just kind of a just kind of a fashionable i mean it's black and white but like for all we know the dress could be blue or brown or red or something of course But that is- I'm kind of glad you said that. I don't want it to read like that, necessarily. I'm glad you mentioned it. That'd be something to watch out for. Okay, so I like these stockings. What color is the dress? Oh gosh. That's not a fight. I want to start again. Was did did anyone else um during uh during that debate like literally have the color they saw it as change? Cuz I actually had that happen. Where after a while I th I thought I saw it as a different color than I did at first. Ooh, how should I how should my wings be positioned this time? Almost thinking like you like a stylized I kind of like this outfit. There's something very like pure about it. Green needle changes for me. Show <laughs> that one. Oh gosh. Okay, let's give us some stocking. How do we want to do the stocking? I love me some stocking. I quite like these kinds of these. They're super cute. Though my instinct is to like have one of them ripped or something. Uh that's not that's not the type of outfit we're going for. We're going for something ironically maybe a bit more. How do I say? Uh Angelic goes bimbo, that kind of thing. How about no shoes, because I'm feeling it. Or maybe we'll do the fluffy slides, like what, like what that lady is wearing. I like the slides. I like the really fluffy slides. One of them can be, like, falling off a little bit. A heart tail. And what kind of hair? Oh, from Ben Tentoy with bad audio. Brainstorm and Green Needle. I don't know Green Needle. I know I know Brainstorm. But yeah, bad audio. Dang. Um, I want to give it like a sweeter look, so I'm going to style the bangs a little differently. Like almost more curled. Alright, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like my hair has been curled. <laughs> I 
Some people hear green needle. That's weird. Let's curl, let's curl my hair. Give us a nice little bun. Like the head's too small. Kind of just a general sweet outfit. Give it a bit of an ink. Let's see what we got here. See if we got anything. Um. Ooh. I do want more hair accessories, though, I have to say. Not sure what to add, though. Ooh, what about... Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea, maybe. like a hat. Doing a thick line so I don't have too much time to think about it. And honestly, so I have a bit more room for error. That's the reason why so many amateurs use really thick lines. It's easier to get away with mistakes. So if you want your work to look more professional, uh, probably number one suggestion, immediately make your pen thinner. Use thinner pens.
But I mean, this is all to say though, that there is one method of creating good fits for your characters, and that's finding good fits on uh, on the internet and, uh, and you know, uh, changing up your homework so the teacher doesn't catch you. <laughs> There's that. Cares about hands. Fuck hands. Okay, so this is like possible possible future Lily outfit. Why not? Why not? Right here. I would stick it like right here or something. I'd probably just do simple colors on it. You know, just to like have it have it there or something. I would just This is just literally a thumbnail to see what kinds of colors I'd potentially want to see with it. Doesn't have to be that particular. is basically just to see what works and what doesn't. And if I can get away with wearing white. 
That's the most important part. I mean, I already wear a lot of white, but you know. These would be like sheer fish nets, but I don't have a quick color to put down for that. So this would like potentially be one of the in the running for the future Lily outfits. Of course, this is actually, I think, not a bad sketch. It ain't bad. Ugh. Okay. Um, that one was pretty fast. What took like another hour, maybe? Okay. You know what? I said I would do a queen character, but um, how about for the next one? You guys just tell me maybe what you'd want to see. Do you have anything else for me to look over, maybe? I'll go over back to the Discord to see. But, um. But yeah. Is there anything else you'd want me to do to look over to, um, yeah, because I feel like at this point I've expended most of what I can for it, which is just, which, which is, which is just find shit you like, 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 at, like with any other reference and kind of just go for it. <laughs> go for it. I like, I have very modern sensibilities when it comes to my clothing design, so I, you know, I, I, I kind, I kind of know what to narrow in. Pinterest is a great resource. Um, and just to know your color scaling. I'll say this. Um, let me. Can I? I'm gonna duplicate this so I can show you something. Um, let me see. So yeah, one thing I like to pay attention to is like, is like contrast and stuff. One of the reasons I don't particularly like this outfit is because I think it's too much of all the same. These two I think are a lot better, with the one on the right actually reading a little stronger because of the bright white. Um, though the one on the left could have some potential if I simply rework it a little bit. But yeah, see this the, the one of the one of the far left is way too is way too much. One of these two are are kind of what you want. Looking at things black and white. Like what would a crocodile wear? I don't know. Look at the look at the Hanna Barbera stuff that Mozzie was looking at. I think that's what a crocodile would wear, uh, a, a, a decent 1960s, 1970s style suit. Um, but uh, no, uh, no crocodile Italian shoes, though. That's just gross. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you know, like looking at the contrast really helps. Strong contrast helps make for good design. Um, and the one on the right here is definitely the closest to what I want. It's kind of why I usually try and incorporate some white into my me designs. So yeah. And since I got more of a more of a medium skin tone, and um, usually things are too dark get uh, pretty lost. Yeah. Um. Honestly, if we could scroll down. Ooh. Still working on my animal. I actually I actually opened up my Animal Crossing village for the first time for a, for a little while uh yesterday. Um and uh Yeah, still kind of still kind of uh work, work working on 
working on my 2.0 village. We'll show it off once it's a little further along, but right now everything's still a mess because I'm just trying to grind up my nook points to buy all of the terraforming stuff. Yeah. Um, well, let's go back to Pinterest. Let's see what we could we can find something. Um, that's really nice. I still like this dress. But yes, one day, one day I would like to do um, an outfit of myself in some in some Nigerian clothing. I will. One day. Maybe not today though. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like um. I feel like I explained most of my mental process for this. Most of most of what I do. Find cool shit. Synthesize it into something that you think looks cool. Um, remember that this is character design and you need to... Mind your contrasts and shapes and such. Hmm. Go home. Let's see if I can... Let's go to the home. Let's see if I can, um... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, it's a JoJo's villain. Look at that. We found it. Let's find. Let's see. What do you- oh. You got it? There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. There you got it. There you go. There you go. What can I say other than I think that's it? I think you found the secret sauce. And it's trench coats. Trench coats are the secret sauce. Let's see. Um, ooh, what if oh how how about how about for fun here? How about for fun here? I, I just type in art advice and we keep on going until I find something that is actual shit. <laughs> let's do that. Let's do that. How, how about that? Let's let's um let's let's dunk on my fellow artists who I'm who are uh ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn she <laughs> Let's uh dunk on my fellow artists with the uh express caveat that um uh, i mean i mean no offense i mean no offense damn <laughs> damn she th damn she thick she thick boy oh gosh okay Let's see. Let, let, I'm just gonna type in art advice and see what shows up. I'm just, I, I'm just curious. I'm gonna do this for a little bit, and I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just. I mean, there's like a lot of really good art advice is the thing out here. So, um, like a lot of good advice, like a lot of good advice. This is good advice. This is good advice. That's good advice. That's <laughs> not what I was talking about. Uh, mm, mm, sorry, sorry. This is also good advice. Um, most people don't stand out with their arms perfectly to the sides like that. You know, it looks more natural to do it on the right. Um... Come on, give me some bad advice. I want the, too much of the, too much of this advice is good. Too much of this is good advice. This is also good advice. It's also pretty good advice. Um, with the caveat of of me saying that um, 
that 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 probably the probably this if if you have to simplify it for the sake of for the sake of uh for the sake of a cartoon or something this is probably better than this or just or just consider a, a simple geometric shape um so yeah but i'm not gonna go too down too hard down that discourse or else we'll be here all day too late let's go back up um oh actually maybe this isn't a bad one it actually isn't a bad one um which is just that uh which is which is which is which is which is, which is just that like uh the funny thing about afros is that oftentimes um they can have really serious structure to them so uh th th this person saying that the left is more correct than the right is uh just pretty accurate yeah uh, that's that that's just how black hair usually works sometimes sometimes it just be a shape and it don't want to stop being that shape so um so yeah this is too much good advice this is way too much good advice are you kidding me this is far too much good advice where's my bad advice where's my bad advice at huh huh where is it at where's my bad advice at Where is it at? It's entirely, it's entirely too good advice. We got here. Uh, the Pinterest artists are too, they, they're learning. They're learning. They're learning. Ooh. Them's good stockings. I just like this. Those are just good, those are just good quality stockings. Ooh. 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Yes! These shoes speak to me. Literally. I can hear them. I can. I. The, I'm pretty sure the image. Um. Is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else do we even got? Other than just some real cool outfits. I kind of don't want to just end this stream early. I want to keep us- I want to keep us going for a little bit. Um... That's pretty good. <laughs> well, that's oh, that's good. This is a, this is a this is a really good. That's a really good character design. Is it correct? Is it correctly uh, credited? Is it? Is it? Oh, I love I love the I love the the um the demonstration on thin versus slim thick uh, uh thin versus uh slim slim thick body types here just real quick just real quick very appreciated uh it was, it was this the this this the somewhat misogynistic um cleaning ad I, I know actually it's very misogynistic. <laughs> it's very it's 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 very misogynist. Let's just see what else what else even is there today? 
aside from just a bunch of clothes that I that I can't backstab be little boy boss. Perfect. What is what is there here aside from just clothes that I want to see? Oh, hey, someone mentioned brats. Let's just look up some brats clothes. Maybe the, maybe this will be the inspiration we need. Um, if you don't know this, the story behind the designers who, who made a lot of these brat clothes, a lot of them, uh, a lot, a lot of them had based the, the characters off of specific fashion icons at the time. Um, and we're like, uh, we're, we're very, we're very concerned about being very, um, very now, um, very modern for the time, at least. In a way, in a way that, like, I think it's kind of why the Bratz dolls are coming back now, because so much of fashion from that time uh, was coming back within the last few years, at least. So, um, the very Y2K style, the very strong perspective here. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Like these Bratz dolls. I think, I'm pretty sure some of these clothes, especially if you have stuff like this, some of them will be custom. Custom made. Um, but some of these will probably have been packaged with the dolls. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did that Bratz doll just burn her tongue? What Kids don't do that. Kids, that is not recommended. Kids do not. Um, but yeah. Yeah, like 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 this outfit. Yeah, this is a collector's doll. This is how it came out of the box. Very, 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 very cute. Very good. Very great style. But yeah, I just think it's funny how Lolo said that uh, my style was starting to lean a bit on Bratz, and it's like I'm okay with that. I was a I was a big Bratz fan when I was younger. You know, when I was um. When I was uh, 2,085 years old versus 2,095 years old as I am now. <laughs> What's the lore on that again? I've already forgotten. <laughs> but yeah. I mean... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do aside from just let's look through. Why don't we look through some more of the stuff? I know Mozzie's the only one who's posted on the art channel for a little bit, so I'm gonna kind of end end up, end up roasting them a bit unnecessarily because there's nothing else for me to. Uh, ooh, we ooh, we can start from here with the with the parent designs. Um, how these were working out, and um, yeah, I think I think how how well how well you've done with the parent designs is really good. I like them a lot. I like how they turned out a lot. But I think your house for this game is work is 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 turning out pretty good. In general. Um I think I think you've been working on lighting pretty well here, and I think it's I think it's showing. Um Yeah. Oh, I remember with this one. Have you done anything else with this one recently? I'm curious. Has anything else been going on here? Or was this kind of just kind of one you, you made and moved on? Go scroll a bit while I wait for you to answer. Oh, sure. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Went off during a Twitter poll? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I think I think the only thing I'd I don't think I'd I'd I, I think I, I remember I remember thinking like hmm, why is the why does the black character feel off for me? And it took me like some time to to consider. And I think it's I think it's mostly literally just color palette. I think um I feel I feel like I feel like without the blue eyes and with maybe a more honey brown hair, it might have it might have fit a bit more but um hard to it's it's, it's hard to say if it's just a one-off then i'm not gonna go too hard on it but 
color palettes with black people and such is a thing. Um, and oftentimes warmer. Those are actually sun. Those are sunglasses. I didn't read that at all. But they were like the. They thought they were like this person's eyes. And even 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 then, even then, I think. I don't know. I, I see. I see. I see. I, I. It's not like all black people are necessarily warm skin tones, warm warm colors. Um, though a lot are, but like oftentimes going warmer. Um. Here, what if I just literally? What if I just literally? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna make this change, not necessarily knowing if you actually know. I'm gonna try and make sure that this matches. That, 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 that this doesn't feel too off in comparison to the rest of the characters. Um, I feel like, well, first first off, they told me it's sunglasses would just make me want to, like... Um... Okay, so I want to I wanna relate the colors to each other, right? Like you're doing here, so I want to try and pull colors from other things. I think I'm actually fine with the with the sunglasses with the, if it's with it being blue if it's sunglasses. I think I would just like I don't know, it's the color, the color of the hair is like off a little bit. Um... This isn't perfect, by the way. I'm just kind of... So that's a color that's unique to her, so we might as well mess with it a little bit. Which is, I just want to make it a little bit warmer. I'll keep the same shape. change yeah I know it does just a slight color change a slight color change make it more obvious that it glasses could have even done one thing i don't know i don't know i'm just spitballing to be honest I, I can barely even necessarily say what was quite wrong with the with i wasn't feeling why i wasn't feeling it but yeah just like i don't know it's like lightest color change lightest color change i don't know i don't know if that made it better or necessarily yeah, I, I I don't know. I've I I'm not I'm 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 just spitballing with this one. I don't know if that made it better or anything. Probably ignore that. But yeah, maybe cat eye style or something. But I think it's I don't know. It's 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 all it's also so the, the 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 color palette the color palette just just ever so slightly could just changed a little bit. I think it'd be stronger, but I think it's, I think it's a good piece though. I love the animation and everything. I like the cat design, the cat character design. I like the concept. I'm just nitpicking for nitpicking's sake. Uh, quick concept draw of the first boss coming out of the valley. 
This is cool. This is cool. Hey, Lola, you've improved too. You draw some different perspectives while I figure out the angle you want to go for in game. This is cool. This is cool. Is he, so he's kind of like chicken shaped. He's kind of like, I guess to, to, to compare his body shape to anything, a little chicken shaped. As far as like how he would walk. I think, let me see. I just want to, let me, I want to, I want to do, I want to do a little something. Mm -hmm. I want to do just a little, little something. to do a little something which is i just i just want to take this design and maybe restructure it a little bit Oh, thank oh my gosh, thank you so much for the subscription. Thank you very much for that. Little changes, just little changes here and there. Just like making sure that it feels like the tusks are coming from somewhere. Give them a little root to come out of. Give them a big old chicken thigh. I want to feel like those legs can support that big old body of his. allow the fantasy body a little bit. Remember, he has, has to have joints here, right? And because he has those I gave him those big thighs we got to negotiate the arms a little bit here because I, I like I like the I like the <laughs> he could be made of play-doh joints will help him make feel make him feel more real which should help him make feel be uh, which help which should help uh, make him seem more threatening um even stop even stop motion creatures usually have uh something going on right so i'm actually gonna give him thinner arms to like negotiate this a little bit or at least at the start i want i want to give him that like big ol 
like Popeye thing. Why not? Just 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 so there's room there. Cover your joints. Also, make sure the fur is hitting at the same place each time. I'm noticing that it's hitting in different places. So let's just have it always hit at the joints. That way it's always hitting right there. Let me get another brush for that. Hmm. always hitting over there. I'm just gonna generally pop that in because it's, it's hitting at every it's hitting each joint differently. Each arm is hitting at a different place. Okay. That's just slight, slight rework, slight rework. And then, <laughs> and the newest stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I can't really do too much about that. <laughs> you think Gumby is threatening? Who'd win Popeye versus Saitama? Uh, it depends how much, uh, I'm just, I'm just looking through all this. How much spinach does Popeye have access to? Um, because that, that, that does in fact change, change the answer to that question. Make sure you can still see a bit of that thigh over here. Okay. Okay, see, so just slight change. Slight change. Uh, it's most- it's mostly- it's mostly just so, like, I think- I think one, it just, like, you know, adds structure there, so it feels like it exists in space, makes it more threatening. Um, and two, you know, of course, if, if the- I think- I think looking at it this way, I think even if it's not perfect, you can tell a little bit more how it moves. And you can see- you can see a bit better, like, the way it would... <laughs> the- the way- the way it would move a bit better. Well, this one, you kind of feel like it just kind of... Uh, kind of just like totters back and forth. That's not too threatening. This one, you feel like he could go at you. He could like zoom <laughs> he, if he wanted to. He could go. He, this this boy could go pretty fast. Boy could go pretty fast. This one, this one maybe this one maybe could just kind of stilt around a little bit. So yeah. There are other ways to try and clarify, but this is just the way that I kind of came up with. You want me to save it or send it to you? Or if you think you're good, just looking at it here. Uh, either way, I'll save it here for you. I'll save it for here, here for you, just in case you want it later. But this is uh, this is my look at it. Ugh. Okay. Oof. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Okay. What else is happening? Yeah. Ooh, by the way, uh, best angle is definitely um, this guy's perspective. Best angle is definitely this guy's perspective. 
Look at him. Here. <clears throat> we make the joints too pronounced. I mean, you say that, but, um, but you, but like, I mean, the thing is, is that with this guy, I couldn't imagine how he would even fold himself up to roll around, right? While, okay, let me just hear Ben 10, Ben 10, let's go, let's go to Ben 10, Cannonbolt, Cannonbolt, iconic character that rolls around, iconic character that does the rolling around thing. Um... <clears throat> So, so, so you, so you can see like this guy, uh, he has, he has his whole thing, right? His whole, his, his whole back is like a little ball. He kind he kind of curls up by like basically tucking his head into his crotch and coming in like that. Very like round. And even when he's just positioned like this, you kind of feel like he can close in like that, right? And it's a character that, while it doesn't have very pronounced joints, he still has joints. He still has joints, a very human, um, a very human bone structure that uh, can be redrawn and re-simplified to, to something like this or to like this. But yeah, there are joints there and you can still see clearly where they are. Um, and it's enough for the animators to be able to work with. Uh, original Ben 10 is very good. I have to say though, I don't mind this redesign. This is like, this is like, this is, this is all right. This is all right. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. But yeah, um, and even just like, look, you know, look at this. You can see clearly how everything syncs together there. But, um, mm hmm, mm hmm. Hmm, but um, I guess I guess think think of what's, uh, 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 hmm, what are other animals aside from pill bugs? Because this guy is not pill bug. This guy is pig, chicken, frog territory. Uh, what are what are some other animals that do that? That defensively roll into themselves, um, like that. Wow, this is fucking disgusting. I hate this so much. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, continue on. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, what's something? Oh, excuse the excuse the memes that my friends have sent me. Um, like an armadillo. Um, yeah, armadillo, hedgehog, pangolin. Uh, p you know, pick your poison, basically. Um, and I think what you have to do is you have to look at these guys and see how do they roll up and how do they make themselves, um, even if they don't actually do this, how do they, how do they make themselves, you know, how, how do they make themselves look like if you rolled them down a hill, they could go real fast. <laughs> how do they do that? In reality, these are all defensive measures, but, uh, how do they do, how do they, how do they fake it? like that and usually it's because they it all slots together so perfectly right they can tuck themselves in quite well you know um you you, you base the animal which which is mostly because they have really small limbs uh and really flexible limbs um hence why the ben 10 cannonball has these really tiny little legs um so maybe just what you need to consider is just how this guy all slots to yeah yeah how, how do you how do you imagine this thing curling up into a ball and rolling down to uh to bludgeon its enemies to death <laughs> how do you imagine that how do you imagine that going down then we can answer some questions but regardless of anything you're, it's got to have some joints you gotta give it some joints. I'm seeing a lot of different types of joints here and none of them are quite the same. Um, and if it's not the answer to make it more... This... Hmm. I mean, this guy looks like he could roll around. I don't know. 
he kind of looks like he could. Maybe not well, but he could do it. But yeah. I kind of, I kind of imagine, I kind of imagine he just, he just kind of, uh, I, I kind of imagine he, he just kind of like, let me see, he just kind of like, sticks his leg, sticks his leggies up in the air, and just kind of holds them. <laughs> he just got, he just kind of holds his leggies like this. <laughs> he got, he does this. And then he spreads them out. <laughs> and then that comes rolling at you at high speeds. <laughs> That's what I imagine. <laughs> you can't turn very well. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> You just see this. This is the last. This. This is the last sight. <laughs> the last thing you ever see. <laughs> That's how mine does it anyway. He turned really. Maybe you just have to like tilt a little bit. You just have to like go this way. Maybe he'd, he'd be turning around this way. <laughs> And also when he's standing up, he can just like throw rocks at people. And throw rocks at you. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the first form is he throws rocks at you. And like and like hits the ground. And then second form is he does this. <laughs> okay, so he's not going very fast then. If he's if he's if he's propelling himself constantly, he's not going very fast then. He's 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 kind of lumbering. He's kind of lumbering. Where it impale it, it impales you? Does this thing Im this this it impales you? Oh no! One that's terrifying. Two, um, I guess, I guess, you know what, uh, maybe I should, hmm, I'm gonna be honest, enemy, enemy, enemy designs aren't necessarily my strong suit, and honestly, neither so much are creature design. I'm kind of just applying basic things about anatomy that I know to here to try and help. Um, a little bit in between. <laughs> but, um, but, sh but should a, should a creature, this, what, what is it used to impale you? What does it do? What does it use to impale you, though? What? How does that work? What does it use to impale you? What goes on there? Like, I'm curious. I want to know. Which I guess maybe just like as a simple video game player, though, I might say that, um... So, so you say its first form is rolling and then its second form is it grabbing at shit and then trying to grab you or something? I feel like other way around is better, right? Like the, like the second one feels more mundane. While seeing this giant thing spin around at you seems a lot more scary, right? That seems like the more threatening... Seems like the more threatening thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm not understanding. Maybe I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I'm just gonna tuck this away. <gasps> mm. 
Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. This is fun. This is just fun. Very threatening. Very threatening. The perspective is very good. Ooh. That's just fun. No complaints. Okay, I'm gonna keep us going for maybe about 30 more minutes. And then I might call it. I just like I just like the dreads. They're cool. Very threatening pan of cookies. Incredibly threatening. the wall without recovering okay what does it impale you with though you haven't answered that quite is it a stick is it the tusks does it like grab you and put you in its mouth and then bite you where does the impaling come in i'm trying to i'm, I'm trying to see what in its body it could impale you with one's come across my feet a couple times it's very good it's very good it's a very good piece of art also dang ever since i pinned that one thing for mozzie i've been getting this shit what what even what what do you what even what is this? What is this? What is that? Ooh, this is pretty though. This is incredibly beautiful. It's a great corset design. Uh, drags you against the wall. Up the wall, which impales you on them. I'm trying to imagine that. Well, if it does that, you're gonna have to make the tusks much bigger. Either way. Probably make them more prominent. Give them a little something to anchor into. Probably make them even bigger than I did. Drags you up the wall. I'm trying to imagine that. That's like, it's kind of hard. It's somewhat hard to imagine. Like, visually, how that would work. Hmm. Let me see something. I wish to I what I wish to investigate something. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm just trying to see if there are any. Yeah, I guess I guess obviously. So obviously pigs do roll in mud. That is the rolling method they. That is the the rolling motion they do. 
I'm trying to see if, if, if any of that movement can be incorporated. I'm not sure though. I will leave it to you. It seems like it seems like you were you were trying to you're trying to work through things still. So I will not interfere too much and simply leave it at that. But uh anything else now? Anything else? Anything else? Um I don't want to see something. Let's see. Hmm. Not so much, no. Um. Hmm. Nope. Some of the old posters. You can still buy them on Store Envy if you're interested. Link below. Expect shipping to take a little longer because I'm going through some shit right now. Um. Oh. Oh no. An artistic booby. What will I ever do? Fine. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I feel like that might actually be it then. There's not too much else for me to say. Um, oh, new designs. Ah, oh, these guys. I remember these guys. You, you were talking about them like a long time ago. They look good. You must have worked on them some more. They look good. Uh, they're so small, I can't really like... Um... I don't know. I'm just looking at the general shapes and I'm just saying, yeah, it looks good. Looks very good. I can see them on a little Game Boy screen. I'd be happy fighting against these guys. They look funny. And I like that about them. So yeah. I'd say they're such small designs, you might be able to- you'd, you'd probably be able to get away with a lot, but in all honesty, I think these are very precisely um, don't be sorry about the pixel art. I think these are very precisely uh, put together. Uh, not a stray pixel that I can see. They're very, they're very precisely designed. I think for this medium, so I think it works out well. They're very good, is what I'm saying. They're very good. Pixel art is definitely where you're com where you're comfortable. Um, really, I think this one looks. Um, I think I think I think this one looks probably the best out of the two. Mongrel. I like it. I like it. I like it best out of the two, actually. Really interesting. It's like it's like unexpected. It's weird. Cool. Like though, I love the striking red. This one to me is actually really nice. So uh, I think I think probably probably yeah probably the way why you're saying it's hard is because I probably took a couple tries, but I think you settled on, on on a good one. The chameleon mask is cool. The horns are cool. Funny how I still managed to get it to read like, if not wolf, at least hyena. <laughs> uh, even even despite all the very reptilian um, features on it, I think it's good. I think I think it's good. I think this is proof that um, proof that what I've been saying is right. Always give all designs a couple passes. Never settle on your first design. Which is kind of why, honestly. What do I want to do? Hmm, this might be a good good opportunity to, um, here, why don't we do this? Why don't I simply show you... I'll try something. I want to try something. Which is, I want to try and... I don't know. I want to. I want to do to my own drawing, which I would. What I do to you guys, which is, I want to tear it apart a little bit. I want to take another look at the anatomy and see see what can be fixed. Yeah, see, an ear should be there. Tear apart my own drawing for for a change. Is 
This is, this is theoretically what I would have done in an extra sketch layer anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Share, share the first draft. Tell me when you post it, because I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't usually get notifications while I'm on stream. Um, here, I want to give it more of a cylindrical thing, so it's like standing out a bit more. Yeah, see, isn't that a lot stronger? Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that so much better? Anatomy is so much more there. If I were to post a final version of this, I definitely, yeah. Okay. Give her a bit, give her like skeletal structure a little bit more to work with here. simplify later but I want to like make sure she actually has a skeletal structure before I before I before I like fuck with it again I might even give her like a little heel
Okay. Let's see if you... Okay, haven't posted it yet. Okay. I'm fine with looking like Yukiko. Persona 4 has some great character designs. Might as well give them some direction. Instead of just making them like appliques. Give them some physicality. Okay, let's compare, right? Let's compare. That versus that. That versus that. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Just like throwing... Comparison. This one's so much nicer, has so much more structure to it. She feels so much more real. One that's missing something. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Got that. Just to show that it's a. Uh, I'm not just, you know, I. It's it's a good exercise to do this to do your own work to all that. Oh yeah, I can definitely see how it's how it's come along since then. This one doesn't look like a roll at all. Has like a warthog snack going on in here. Yeah, no, definitely it's come along really far. I mean, in general, it's come along far. Just, I mean, your drawing technical ability has come along really far. Even if it was just a, cri a quick scribble, it's like, like I can see a lot more consideration in the second one than what was in the first one in general. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Give me a second. Let me make sure something. Let me check out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll say, I'll say this, this, this one, this one makes the, the, the design just doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense in this old one. I can, I can see how you've like attempted to continue to resolve things as you, as you've worked towards, towards this design, definitely. I think it still has a, a bit more, a bit more to go, but I think you've, I think you've like already, cause, cause like obviously it, you know, it being on four legs maybe doesn't quite work well. You really can't see how that one would roll up well that's when you can start to see a little more even if maybe it needs to be resolved a bit more but like yeah in general a lot of a lot of growth there definitely i think i think you're heading towards a better direction um like the like the other one doesn't look like it, it could pick up anything this one giving it the arms was definitely a good a, a good um a good little consideration. Keep on working. If you got that far, 
I know you can get further. Just hopefully it doesn't take another year. <laughs> Work faster. But you got it. You got it. You got it. And again, consider joints. Joints are helpful. They force you to resolve certain things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I like this one. I like her. She's cool. She looks. She looks like. Looks like me and her could hang out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. You got it. You got it. Keep on working. Keep on working. Okay. <laughs> she looks too cool to hang out with. <laughs> She does look very cool. She does look incredibly, incredibly cool. Why is it? Oh my gosh, there was a girl in my in in my painting class. I swear, she dressed like this all the time. She didn't look like this. She looked like a regular human being. <laughs> not 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 this uh, Tex Avery supermodel, but um, but she was she was she was uh. Definitely top top ten of some of the of, of some of the coolest people I've ever met. Definitely, went to she went to uh she went to metal concerts, like almost every week. Every week I was like, where where were you last weekend? She was like, I was at a metal concert. And I'm like, sick, amazing. And she she dressed like this like all the time. <laughs> Great, that's art school for you. Just meet wacky characters like that. So, uh, yeah, we're about 3.30 mark, which we're also at about 10 o'clock. I sadly have not found any bad art advice. I've only found good art advice, and I don't know what to do with that. So, um... Oh, like this? Oh, it's just a coat. You've really never seen a coat like this? It's just like a, like a duster, like a pattern duster. Um, like I own a coat like this. I own a coat like this, except mine is a mine is a uh, is a blue and um. Yes, yeah, it's a pattern duster. I I own a coat like this, except mine is like mine is like a blue um and gray plaid. It's called fashion. Look at. <laughs> I think that's the point of this whole stream. Actually, look up fashion. Look up more fashion. Um, yeah, I bet I could find one like that, actually. Hound's Tooth Duster. This coat definitely exists. Yeah, like right here. The coat exists. Many variations of it. Like, like, wow, does this coat exist? It's been made so many times, actually. The code has been made so many times. I mean, yeah, there are, there are fits of it that look very bathrobe-like, where it's very loose. There are fits that are like very that there are versions of it that are very structured. It just depends on the on the on the tailoring and the quality of the fabric. Yeah, like a this. I added in lapels for the second for the second go, but there are certainly versions without lapels. Versions that are very this. But yeah. <laughs> what's the what's the goal of today, right? The goal of today is if you don't if you don't have an eye for fashion to make your outfits for your illustrations, uh steal some. Steal some. Just look through outfits until you find some that you like. And then and then draw those on your characters. Um, a great, I actually did this as research for the Bleach essay that I never got to finishing, uh, Fruits Magazine. You ever seen Fruits Magazine? It's like an old J fashion magazine that I don't think is in print anymore. You can literally download 
like 20 different issues for free for no issue online like on imgur or whatever they're just it's so easy to find just free entire uh issues of this magazine and uh, it's all like old old j fashion stuff and it's all really sick from like from like the 90s and the 2000s literally tight kubo tight this is this is what tight kubo used as inspiration for like all of his characters fits he just had these magazines would just flip through them and would just find outfits and was just like hey um this is cool i'm gonna make rukia wear this this week on the cover of the next of, of the next uh of the next chapter hey the power of luck oh the fact that you came makes me want to makes me want to keep going for a little bit longer we are close to wrapping up today. Um, but yeah, Fruits Magazine. I promise you, more than a couple manga artists that you know, just literally, just literally, probably just got an issue from like 7 Eleven or the corner store and, um, and, and, and would, and would just put their characters in these outfits. Like, they would just do that. You know, like, Tell me the one on the left isn't something that Kubo would put, like... Like, literally, like, literally, these are... I, I don't think this is actually Fruits Magazine, but this is literally Orihime and Rukia right next to each other. Like, you, like you could put them in these outfits and, like, yep, looks natural to me. Um... But, yeah. It's not always about what looks... what looks... what looks natural. It's sometimes just about what looks cool on the front of... on the front of your... on the front of your issue or whatever. A lot of references for folds because ba baggy clothing is big but i mean it's not always about what looks natural for people to wear right or or at least what feels natural to you i'll say as my caveat um because if you put your characters in shirts and, and, and t-shirts and jeans every time they go out it's gonna be very boring it's gonna make them feel like they don't have much personality to them unless you you know at least at least um I'll say I'll say Ichigo, you know, his his daily outfits or rarely just t-shirts and jeans. It, it, it might be like layering something might wear like might might wear like um I don't know. He got fits. He got fits. He got tons of fits. Yu Yu Hakusho. Also, Yu Yu Hakusho has some great fits. I know that I know that guy read some Bruce magazine. I know for a fact. <laughs> but yeah. This is an illustration, right? It's not about what you think is natural for someone to wear, but just like, what do you think this character would find cool? And does it look cool? You know, if you think that if you think your character would think this giant oversized Nirvana shirt with the cool airbrush pants is the coolest shit they've ever seen, then that's their date outfit. Even if it's not a normal date outfit, that's their date outfit because that's them. Because they think that's the coolest shit they've ever seen, so they're gonna wear it to a date. You know, your characters are allowed to be eccentric and weird. And if your world is a little eccentric and weird and a little bit of heightened realism, then the audience isn't even gonna notice, aside from just thinking that, hey, this author has decent fashion sense, I think. Even if it's completely out of normal. Because you have to remember, right? Even if to you this isn't something that someone would wear every day these people would wear this stuff every day <laughs> the people in these magazines would at least wear it every sunday in harajuku just going out for a lot of them these are everyday outfits or at least i'm gonna go out for the weekend outfits not to a rave just afternoon for like a cafe and some ice cream <laughs> so yeah would your character do that? Would your character wear a weird eccentric outfit for an afternoon to a cafe and some ice cream? I don't think about it. Maybe. But yeah, Fritz Magazine. So much, so you can use this mwah, best free resource for weird 2000s fashion that you could ever possibly find, especially alt fashion. Especially, all, especially some, some alternative fashion. Mwah. Perfect shit. Amazing shit. Would wear a trench coat and a fedora. Haha! <laughs> no. 
I refuse. Unless they're a hard-boiled detective with the heart of gold, no thank you. Unless they are exactly, uh, unless they are literally, literally, uh, uh, where is it? This rabbit, no. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to I'm about to um I'm about to roast someone real quick here. I'm about to roast someone real quick here. Um I just decided I don't get close. <laughs> nice, nice. Um I'm gonna I'm about to roast someone that I knew here real quick. Um I uh I I totally knew a guy in high school who was you know what? No, he he was kind of a loser. He was kind of a fucking loser. <laughs> I said that with the most with most affection. I think he was kind of. I think it was like cool in his own way. We don't talk anymore. I knew him then. If he accidentally hears this, or if he like figures this out, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, this guy, dead ass to school on almost every opportunity he had, would wear a trench coat and a top hat. I think he was like really into Professor Layton and he had this idea that top hats were like the height of fashion. So he just wore a top hat every day. I'd see him in math class and in calculus like every day in a trench coat and a top hat. Well, not that he'd wear a polo. The, the ensemble was matched with not a rolling backpack, but a, um, which, which even I did not have the courage to use because I thought those were dorky, but an, but an actual carry-on suitcase that had all of this stuff in it. Um, I hope he's doing okay. <laughs> I hope he's doing all right. I'm not going to say your name on, on air, but like, if, if, if you, if, if, if you hear this, I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Get tackled by a cop in my, uh, my school allowed it. Also, he was white. <laughs> also, he was white. My school allowed it. Um, my school is generally okay with hats. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was a very white school. They allowed a lot of things. Uh, except for except for tank tops. <laughs> Brain efficient backpacks are way better. Yeah, um, I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a briefcase user. I am a. I'm an. I am a. Um, a, a a quite quite the tote bag user though. And if not tote bags, I have a variety of uh, of of spacious purses. I quite like my elegant leather uh leather like uh, leather backpacks uh. You know, you know the, the 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 brand ones that don't make me feel like a nerd for wearing them out in public. Um, I have like I have like two of those, and then I have some yeah. I like backpacks, but like fashionable one and such. I actually have one that's like a ridiculous rainbow color. I love it. It's so good. Also fanny packs. I will I will never. You can't. You cannot convince me that fanny packs are not when worn correctly the height of fashion because they are they are they are you can pry my what's actually literally the most ridiculous fanny pack because i have some normal ones i have like a black one with gold zippers i have a, i have one of the clear ones most ridiculous fanny pack though that i actually dead ass own is a uh is is a um is a is a mike sully monsters inc fanny pack i'm not lying this exists disney sold it on their actual official store and i bought it i've never worn it but it does sit and sit on my little plushy shelf that i have and i love it i love him i mean i, I will i will show i will show you this i will show you this mike the lee um <laughs> fan fiction wait what's it what's it called what's it called sullivan 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 let me let me see monsters what, whatever his name is monsters inc uh fanny pack 
It exists. It exists. This exists. This exists. This exists. None of these. Oh, it's this. It's this thing. As shown, actually, this is. I know. I know what. I know where this store is. This is. This is a store in Disneyland. Th this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. I have this. I bought this. I'm not ashamed. I purchased this. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I've never I've, I've never even figured out a way to hold to to wear it. I have yet to f I have yet to gain the courage to wear this publicly. One day I will. One day I will. Or I'll just stay on my shelf forever because honestly, he has a very friendly face. <laughs> Look at the head hanging. <laughs> It's a little gruesome. It's a little gruesome. <clears throat> Just a bit. Just a bit, but it's okay. It's okay, he's happy. But yeah. You will support me? Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would have thought this was like an old photo were it not for the AirPods. You go, girl. You go. Bless your little heart. But yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, long story short, you've been watching fashion. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm about done here, I think. Um, unless you guys have anything else to submit to the Discord, now is your like last, last chance, but otherwise, I'm just gonna wrap up, I think. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, you know what? I might post this sketch on Twitter, I might post this sketch on Twitter. Um, not considered that other people would think it's so uncool so you cringe it later and realize everyone was making fun of you. Uh, not, uh, no, that, that, that's, that's, that's not something I'm, that's, that's not something I, 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 I think of anymore, honestly. Genuinely. Um, ser seriously, seriously, I, uh, oh, on the Discord? On the Discord server? Are you in the, you're in the Discord server, right? You're in the Discord server, right? You're in the Discord server. I want to post anything on the Discord server for me to look at. Any pieces of art in the community art channel. Now is the time. Like right now. Because I'm about to close up the stream. Here we go. Oh, see? That, 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 that's, that's some, that's some slick shit. Um, pretty damn fashionable. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good, in fact. But yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely someone who just like, uh, I wear weird shit. I wear weird shit. Um, like quite often. Um, and, uh, I've never felt particularly self-conscious about it. I've never, um, <laughs> you want to be included? Well, that's very, that's very, that's, that's very, that's very sweet. I never felt particularly self-conscious about it. Um, yeah um like if anything usually because if anything usually i'm i i just I, it's you know it's about context right don't wear weird shit to the grocery store do wear weird shit when you're going to like little tokyo or an anime convention or something um but yeah, I, I rarely, I rarely felt self-conscious, and if anything, usually I'll end up having a pretty good time because, um, I know how color works, uh, and I usually get compliments on the stuff. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'll, 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 like, what's like an example I can pull up that's actually similar to something I've worn without having to show a photo of myself? I don't know. I'll wear shit like this and get a compliment. <laughs> you know?
you know you know i i own something actually <laughs> look it's 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 called confidence sweaty it's called confidence I'll wear my I'll wear my platform pink Crocs. I will wear those to the grocery store actually, and you can't stop me. <laughs> you literally, literally, physically cannot stop me. Actually, 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 I think I can literally as one as, as the last thing, as the last thing for the stream. I think I can show you a picture of maybe the weirdest thing I own. Let me see if I can let me see if I can find if I can find a, a good picture of the weirdest thing that I own. Um, let me find this. Oh, no. You know what? Nah. I was gonna be like, ooh, my Hooters shirt? Honestly, no. Honestly, probably no. My Hooters shirt is pretty tame. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like I'd be, yeah, like I'd be going to my friend's birthday party and, and shit like this. <laughs> Pretty frequent, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, this is the Thursday afternoon. Don't question why I have the Hooters shirt. It's a very good shirt though. The tank top. Yeah, like, 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 I mean, this isn't really the weirdest, just something to show. But like, I literally, I, yeah, I literally went to, ooh, I have this. I like this. I like this. I have this, I like this. It's very gay. Very gay. Um, I mean the Hooter, it's just, I think you're, I think you're like, I think you're like overestimating the Hooter shirt. Sorry, it looks kind of grungy in this photo. You're overestimating, it's just a, it's just a fitted tank top. It's just a fitted tank top, guys. It's just a fitted tank top. <laughs> not that special. <laughs> I can fit a bra under it and everything. It's not that special. It's just an item that I have that I think is kind of, that, that, that I, that I kind of, oh, here are the Crocs. 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 We have the Crocs. Here they are in all of their glory. They're so good. They're such good Crocs. They're actually really comfortable. Actually really comfortable. Okay, let's see. One last picture in the Discord. One last picture. Oh yeah, this guy. You have post you have posted this one because I'm going to show I'm going to show proof that you've posted it. Uh, you have you have in fact posted this one because remember I made this, I made this meme. If you remember, I, I picked it up from a vintage clothing store. I thought it was I thought it was funny. It fit, so I picked it up. It was like ten bucks. <laughs> Someone had like cut it themselves. Oh, it's not a concern for Californians, at all, not even a little bit. And it won't be a it won't be a concern when I live in Arizona either um so yeah <laughs> um but yeah little little sneak peek of all my shoes over there <laughs> enjoy that while it lasts <laughs> all my shoes <laughs> why did i take a picture of all my shoes don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I barely even know. I was really, I was really bored one summer. Don't worry about it. I do weird shit sometimes. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna say four hour mark. We're about done here. I'm pretty tired. Um, I'm probably gonna post the sketch on Twitter. Um... I'm gonna post a sketch on Twitter, um, just for fun. I don't know. Um, but I'm not sure yet. But honestly, just have a great night, everyone. 
we're about we're about done here so um yeah 10 o'clock uh i'm th that that's about that's about as long as i'm staying up so uh have a very good night everyone um yeah only other thing i have to say two more streams this week and then i'm gonna be gone for a little while um and i have no clue what we're doing next stream so um i was serious when i said that i would like uh discord submissions if you have a short indie game you want me to play um, I'll do it. If you want more art advice, I'll do it. Um, or if you just want to look through BuzzFeed quizzes or read a stupid fan fiction, I'll do it. Just send me your links. Send me your links. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a quick. I'll, I'll do a quick. Um. A, I'll, I'll raise the link embargo for a little bit. So just go for it. <laughs> put it in. Put it in the I recommend. I think. I think we. I think we have. We have this. Yeah. Put it in the I recommend. Just, just go nuts. Just go nuts. If you give me malware, you're banned forever. Just go nuts. Otherwise, <laughs> have a good night. Good night and all. Thank you very much.